Hey, what's good, everybody? Thank you for checking me out. This is Echo Simpson. Now, let me tell you something. It's never easy trying to make a video by yourself when there's nobody behind the camera, you know, telling you to sit well, take a good posture, and talk to your subscribers. So when we bring videos out, kindly subscribe, like, comment, and share. Share this to all your friends. And this is the first time I'm trying my new uh, lapel mic. I hope I get the sound right. If I get it right, kindly, Put it up as a comment. Hey, it's a beautiful Sunday here in Ghana. And it's been raining. It's been raining. Like, I keep telling you that it kind of like the, the, the climate is changing because we know the rainy seasons, but this time it's really getting into October. September was raining. October is still raining. Well, that is nature for you. So if this is your first time of checking out my YouTube channel, kindly subscribe and let's build this beautiful family together. Now, let me ask you a question. Where do I usually make my videos from? Which city in Ghana do I usually make my videos from? And that is where I hail. I'm not going to mention it. I want you to put it up as a comment so I will know, okay, you're really following my YouTube channel and subscribing and liking and commenting and sharing to all your friends. And don't forget that you can also go on Patreon and donate to my YouTube channel. Fast forward, since I told you to write the city that I am coming from, definitely it means that I'm coming to give you some beautiful news when it comes to my city. Yes, Central Region is the region by the capital city of Central Region. That is what I want you to put it up as a comment. So anything that comes in good, anything that comes in beautiful, I would like to share with the whole world. So first of all, I want to say a big shout out to Esedua. Yes, Esedua is a female name and she represented Central Region, my region, in this annually organized event by TV3. It's a TV station that organizes, you know, a beauty pageant kind of thing. It's called Ghana's Most Beautiful. So they pick one representative from the 16 regions of Ghana, and they do what they have to do. And fortunately for the Cape Coast people, our baby girl came second runner up. If she had won, like, I'll be making a lot of noise, but this time, second runner, I'm so beautiful. You know, shout outs to her, because there were 16 girls, and she's part of the best three. Just one day, an opportunity presented itself for us to go on a journey. Uh, we spent 13 weeks at the Ghana's most beautiful house, and it wasn't easy, but by the grace of God, we are here today. My name is Esidwa, and I'm the second runner-up for this year's Ghana's Most Beautiful. I'd love to say a very big thank you to all of you out there, whether you are from the Central Region, whether you are from the Eastern Region, whether you are from the Ashanti Region, wherever you find yourself. I am super grateful. One thing I always say is that feeling gratitude and not expressing it is like wrapping a gift and not giving it. So I'm so grateful to you for every support you rallied behind me. Today's Sunday is when you get to Cape Coast, there's a beautiful program happening for her. It's a welcoming kind of party where, you know, they're in the, in, on the street. Let me show you what really happened. <laughs> So that is what happened with our beautiful Esedua. So put it up as a comment. Congratulate her. Congratulations, Esedua. You did well. Now let's move to another awesome thing that happened yesterday by an institution called Barcamp Ghana. So Barcamp Ghana is, a, let's say, an event hub or an organization that brings Ghana and you together to share ideas, uh, connect with each other, network with each other to see how best we can build Ghana. So I was invited as a speaker, as a mentor, as a social media person, as a YouTuber, as a teacher, and as a traveler. So I went there and I met these awesome people and I took the mic, I was talking to them, they were asking me questions. It was pretty nice, you know, me explaining things that I do, you know, to these people and it was so beautiful. And I love you guys, man, it was awesome. I love the interactions. So we wanna say thank you 
on behalf of Ghana Tech Foundation, uh, Macam Kipkos, thank you so much for coming through and blessing all of us with nice ideas. You want to say a perception, just a perception. Hi, thank you. You know, I usually don't follow soccer. We call it football. I know when you say football, the American football, like, and the UK, I don't know. But when you talk about football in Africa or in Ghana, I really don't follow it because I don't know why I have to be following somebody who's kicking a ball and all that. Uh, for the past years, I've been the social media manager for one of the teams, which is a Premier League team. It's a male team, right, called Ebu Drafts. But aside that, Last two months, I was called by my big brother, Jacob, shout outs to you. It was like, hey, Ako, do you know there is a, a women's Premier League team here in Cape Cod? I was like, really? And nobody talks about it. I've never heard it. Like, okay, let's go see the CEO or the president, Mr. Kojo Taylor. Shout outs to you for giving me the opportunity to work with ladies strikers. So that is the name of the women's Premier League here in Cape Cod. So I got in there and then, I mean, everything started working. And last week, I organized a program for them, which is about using social media to push and sell themselves as players. These girls, you know, the first time that I met them, I, I thought I was, you know, I'm the shy type. Yes, I'm the shy type when there are a lot of women. But if it was only one or two, I'm cool. But we have about 23 girls playing and I had to sit in front of them and then lecture them on, uh, social media usage it was so awesome so we met uh, we introduced ourselves and then the rest was beautiful it was history but hey I just want to introduce you to Lady Strikers it's a, it's a team that has been established about 10 years ago by Kojo Taylor he's a doctor and uh, the team has been doing well they are in the Premier League so the Women's Premier League which is even ongoing right now in Ghana uh, they are, you know, part of the, the Premier League team or the table. And uh, we had a beautiful interactions about, you know, using their social media and everything. So today's video is just to let you know that there are a couple of things happening in Ghana, in Cape Coast that I would love for you to see. And one of them is the Lady Striker. So let's get on and just enjoy the video of what really happened on that day. Thank you very much for checking me out. This is a course Simpson. I love you and I love that you watch my videos and you share my videos and you comment on my videos. Beautiful day here in Cape Coast. Where I'm standing now is called Play Soccer. I think FIFA built this for the purpose of um, training, you know, the kids and what, 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 what not. And today I have a program to do with one of the women's premier team here in Cape Coast called Lady Strikers. So as you can see, they are coming behind me. So we have a project for them today, which is social media management, setting up social media uh, platforms and all that. So I'm going to take them through a little practical lessons as to the best way to go about putting their career out there on social media for people to realize them. So let's get inside and do more with Lady Strikers here in Cape Coast. I'm Benson, Lady Strikers, and the midfielder. Yeah, it'll be like, to the us, we not here, you know, we they can learn social media stuff, how we can use them, maintain our posts, and our maybe videos, pictures, and... Um, you can't tell me. <laughs> you get to see, that is why my mind when Chelsea are playing football, you can watch it on the internet or through social media. So now, social media comes in different platforms. We have, so I'll let you mention the ones that you know, if you know, you know. You know. So, um, Deborah, mention the one you are using right now. Okay. Yes, you. Twitter. Twitter, thank you. So we have Twitter, um, Empress. Facebook. Facebook, Sugar. What's up? What's up? Instagram. Uh-huh. Snapchat. TikTok. Telegram. Telegram. So all these places, they are not limited. One limited to Imro Fopet, and I one limited to Imro Fopet. It's for everybody. It's unlimited. You can do whatever, you can get whatever information that you have. That is what we also have to take advantage of and do it. 
So now, before we leave here, everybody must be on TikTok. Yeah. Yes, everybody must be on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Maybe with YouTube, you don't have the time to be editing the videos. So you don't want to be on YouTube. But the team, uh, the team, whole team will be on uh, YouTube. We can we we win. We will. Well, okay. Hey, strikers! We can! Hey, strikers! We won!